All right, babies, we are going to, again, we're still in 4.1. We're going to look at the formulas for exponential growth and decay. Um, this N right here represents your final amount. This, your initial amount. The R, of course, is going to stand for the rate. And T will be time. All right, for a continuous exponential growth or decay, you are going to use this formula where N sub O is still the initial amount. And now we've got E to the KT. And the K now is the rate. All right, so if... Uh, oh, I forgot to tell you this. Okay, this positive right here means growth. If it's decay, it will be Y minus R. And then for the continuous exponential, this is growth here. So if it's decay, it will be negative KT, just so you know. All right, so for problem number seven, we have a population of approximately 110 million. If Mexico's population continues to grow at the described rate, predict the population of Mexico in 10 and 20 years. All right, so um, just to save a little bit of time, I'm just gonna look at 10 years here. So at a rate of 1.42% annually, what does that look like? All right, so I am going to use my first formula because notice it says annually, not continuously. Continuously, we'll use this one. So I am going to start with an initial value of 110 million. If it makes you more comfortable to think of the whole number, we'll write it out just like that. And then I'm going to, um, I'm looking at the population as it grows. So I'm gonna have one plus the rate, which would be 0.0142 and then is going to be annually. So, and oh, I'm looking at 10 years. So that goes right there. Again, this is just calculator work. You're just going to type this in to a calculator. That's really all you have to do. So this is going to be an approximate value. It will increase in 10 years to this value right here. I put approximately because you get a decimal and you can't grow the population by part of a person. So, all right. Part B at a rate, the same rate, but now continuously. So I'm looking at my initial value of 110 million, and that's gonna be times E to the positive KT because I'm looking at growth. So this is the rate. And then, of course, it gets multiplied by the time, which is 10. Again, you're going to type this into a calculator. It's going to have the E number on it. Sorry, this is approximately. And this is going to be 126,783,431. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Not horrible at all. It's all calculator work, babies. <laughs>